Morning everyone, Al here for another uh, little video. So today we're going to be changing out the poly block uh, coupling and jockey wheel on our camper trailer. I'll just go through what we're going to do here today, today and what we're going to uh, change it out with. So we've got the Cruise Master DO35 V3 Plus. So this is the newest version. So it's got the high vis um, strip on the front so you can see it in a revision camera. Improved dust cap and locking mechanism. And I think there's something different with the actual coupling as well, but we'll go into that in a second. Um, and we're also putting on an ARC 750XO Extreme Jockey Wheel. So we are replacing this old jockey wheel here. Doesn't quite get tall enough for me sometimes uh, hooking up to the car and the poly block. Just thought I'd, before I chuck it on, give everyone a bit of an idea of how heavy these things are. So I'm looking at weight savings. So I'm putting lithium batteries in the, bat in, the uh, in the camper trailer. And when I pick this ARC 750 jockey wheel up, does have a bit of weight about it. So let's put it on the scales and see how heavy it is. And I'll compare with the old one when I take off. Rightio. So, got the scales. So I've got the jockey wheel here. Let's put it on and see how heavy it weighs. It's 18.5 kgs. 18.4 kgs on the tow hitch uh, extra, but let's see what we take off. I might even put the Cruise Master um, coupling on as well. All right, Eddie, my little helper, just make the scales turn on. All right, take your foot off, mate. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chuck the coupling on. 7.5, 7.6 kgs for the coupling and all the all, uh, bolts holding it on there. So I'll compare that when I take the other gear off. Okay, so I thought I'd unbox it while I'm going rather than just go straight in the insulation. You've seen the coupling and the bolts on the scales. Um, we've got the tow pin and dust cap. Now in the instruction manual, there is an O-ring in here uh, that corresponds with the dust cap with the coupling in here that you need to keep lubed up um, lightly. Don't go too crazy. And we've also got the, the uh, tow pin tool. Now this little part here, it's a bottle opener. So how cool is that? We'll keep that in the car. Um, the instruction manual, very, very easy to follow. We've got instructions for connecting the tow pin to the tow bar, torque ratings for the actual, the, um, the, the nut on the bottom of the tow pin, um, and also bolting the coupling to the tow bar as well, so to the drawbar of the trailer. So we've got our torque ratings here for the bolts supplied. If we go to a different grade bolt, if we need to change it, um, yeah, there's a different torque rating there. So very, very inclusive, uh, easy to follow instructions. Do not attempt to weld the coupling to the drawbar. So that's a, that's a given for any coupling, I would say. So now this one here, it says the drawbar, it can be mounted under the drawbar as well, um, which I'll have a look at. I don't think I'll need to, but it's one of the other reasons that I went with the DO35, um, just to, yeah, make the drawbar a little bit lower. And then hitching up the DO35, very straightforward. Uh, line it up and away we go. So one cool feature, everyone with the reverse camera, how cool is that? You'll be able to just line that up to the center of the pin in your reverse camera, bang, lower the coupling onto the pin and away you go. Anyway, we'll get into bolting it up and uh, go from there. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna unbolt the coupling now. So I'll go get some tools and um, unbolt it and bolt the new one up and when I'm finished, with this one, I'll chuck it on the scale so give you guys a bit of an idea of the weight comparison. Stay with me. Nine eight mil socket, nine eight mil spanner. Actually, the top's an eighteen mil, the bottom's a nineteen. There we go. Righty, so this is what we're looking at once we've finished. Um, I'll clean all this up. Righty, so I'm back. I actually got some turps as well, paint scraper. Give it a good old clean up here. So 
done in Greece, so come off pretty easy. Righty, eight, so we'll turn the scales on. I'm gonna weigh the old poly block. So we'll chuck that on there without getting too much grease on it. Holy dooly, that's nine kgs. What was the cruise master? 7.6. Righto, beautiful. Okay, so I'll go get the cruise master DA35 V3 plus. That's a big, big work, but anyway, and I'll bolt it on. Let's hope the bolt holes match. So what I'm gonna do, these come with one washer. The old one come with two, so I'm gonna put another washer. Another washer on top of the coupling. I'm gonna go get something a bit quicker. I'll be right back. Duck a duck a machine. So what I was doing then, the holes inside the plate a little bit wider, so there's a little bit of movement sideways. So I'm just centering the um, the tow hitch to the tow bar. So I know it's not a measuring tape, but it's the same size item, and it's actually flush there and same there. So I'll tighten the front ones up. We'll come back and do the bottom. We'll up all this up to spec now and we'll uh, go from there. So I've got a small torque wrench here, so I'll go up to torque spec as per required, which is 90 newton meters of torque, which is not a lot. Let's go and put the pin on the ute. Alrighty, so let's go and rip this thing off. Goodbye, poly hitch. I always clean surfaces before I bolt a new item onto it. A bit of build up, if you've seen come off there, can cause dramas and will end up coming loose. So, same with tyres, um, anything that's uh, yeah, it needs to be bolted up firm. Um, I usually give that a good old, good old clean before I bolt the new, new thing onto it, so you don't run into dramas later. And another one that uh, most of you probably know, but leave your tow tongue in the vehicle when you're doing the uh, bolt up because that's your vice. Anyway. The other thing I was looking at this, right, going, how's this going to work onto here? If you can see that little little hole there, so we've got a corresponding part there that locks into it, and that holds it when you're doing the ugga duggers underneath. I don't know why the 50 mil balls don't have something like that. Uh, actually, what I've noticed. There's a flat washer on this one, which I might put under here as well. So let's change that over real quick while I'm here. Now I don't have a torque wrench for that size nut. So I've got a torque wrench here. That's a 12 inch one. This is a, this is a 24 inch wrench. So. I'll just get it tightened up.
Actually, I'm not going to use the big one. The spring washer's closed up here, and that's actually pretty tight. Um, so let's uh, put it all together. Right, guys. This is the first time I've done this, so it's pull the pull the dust cap up. Make sure this is visible. Put that out of the road. I just need to line, jack this up a bit more. This is where I'm going to run into dramas with this old jockey wheel. So that'll go into there. I need to readjust my camera a little bit to see the pin, but guess what? Can you guys see this? There it goes. All right. What's happened here? I don't know what's going on. Ah, see that? Add it all wrong, and it should go quick. Put our dust cap back on. How's that? Yeah, now we're going to change over the jockey wheel, which is just here. Jockey. Rightio, same thing. I'll go through the unboxing of the jockey wheel itself. It's not much unbox, so we've got a jockey wheel, very self explanatory. I'm going to move that over there for a the minute. We've got a handle, so that actually is a removable handle from the, um, the jockey wheel winder. So I'm just going to have to find some kind of place or somewhere safe to leave that so I don't lose it. Instructions, I haven't read them yet. Uh, I'm going to say it's very self-explanatory because it's four bolts you need to un undo to put, the to put the new one on. And then in here, mate, in here we've got Two clamps to go around the, the tow, tow bar itself and four bolts to bolt it all together. Uh, let's go do it. Alright, yeah, let's wind this old girl up. Get him out of the road. I probably should leave it on the ground actually. Not underweight, just to help with the uh, when I undo the bolts. Same thing, 18, 19 mil. We'll undo this. Oh. Sorry, I'm in, got, I'm in your eye. Right, but... I'll seal this up. Actually, do you know what? Let's go there. Just like that, jockey wheels on the ground. Right here we go, the arc jockey wheel. So I'll get out of the road, and I might go on this angle now. There's Eddie up there, look. Eddie's gonna be my supervisor, and tell me where I've gone wrong. So, what I'm gonna do is, 
go up to the highest setting in the uh, Can you go get a rag for me, please, mate? A rag? That, that white rag just up here. Okay. Careful the camera. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. I can't even use it. Righto. So, where's the winder, Eddie? You put it up on top of the camera. Did I? Righty -o. I figured it out. And I made an easy way to do it. So let's see if it's gonna work. Let's put that on the Now it's heavy on my toe. Let's duck and duck these up. Beautiful. Let's button it all up properly. Dugga dugga. Beautiful. So there we go, the ARC 750 installed. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of how it all works. So we've, you've seen this here, this one here will allow for um, height adjustment in the actual main, main shaft. Then we have this one, which is there. So what I'm gonna do, let's go down to the lowest one. So then you can see I have all this to lift up now. So let's uh, see how it goes. Beautiful. Anyway, that's on. Right now, now let's weigh the old jockey wheels, give us a bit of a comparison. Can't see, but 12.3 kgs. We'll go and compare. Right, so. You saw I put the stuff in the scales, so I thought I'd go through what we've got here different. So we've got the old, the new, and the difference. So the polyblock weighed nine kgs. The MDC jockey wheel weighed 12.3 kgs, which gave me a total of 21.3 kgs on the tow hitch. Putting the new DO35 V3 on has is 7.6 kgs. And the ARC XO 750 XO is 18.4, which has given me a total of 26 kgs on the on the tow hitch, which is a gain of 5.7 kgs in total. So just need to be mindful um, that ARC hitch, and this is not a rag on it, this is not having a crack at it at all. Although it is a good hitch, um, it adds a lot of weight to your tow hitch. So just be mindful of that. Um, it surprised me, but anyway, I, I don't really care. It, it's it's good having tow hitch uh, weight on the tow hitch. To compensate that, though, I have taken out my AGM batteries and I've replaced with lithium. So I'll do a little video on the install on that and the weight differences as well, and um, see where I'm at with the ball weight in total. So one last thing I wanted to show you all is um, 
how people have been securing these. Now I know that um, you can buy a proper lock for it, but what I used to do with the poly block hitch was the lockable tow hitch pin. Um, lockable tow hitch pin. Look, I know it's not gonna do probably much because you can put that up and chop it off, but it might be a bit of a deterrent. Also, the other thing with the DO35, if you don't have the DO35 pin, um, fair chance you can't tow this away. But anyway, it's a bit of the added security for, for those out there. Anyway, if you like this video, um, don't forget to like, give me a big thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, it, it does help. Any feedback, anything you saw that I did today with the coupling or the jockey wheel, um, yeah, chuck a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the tracks.